In today's video, I'm going to show you an effective passing scheme from the under center in the West Coast Offensive Playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never seen any of my videos before, what I do on YouTube is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day, videos that are designed to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And we upload four videos every day, one at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And we also live stream every single night answering Madden questions live um, right here on our YouTube channel. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead, click the subscribe button. And I wanted to tell you that today is actually the day that our text message membership video goes out. So if you haven't joined the text message membership yet, it's completely free. And it's really, really, really something I think you should consider because uh, what we do in our text message membership is we break down every single week some type of high level scheme whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball, we break down some kind of high-level scheme. And normally we go super in-depth. Those videos are typically 45 minutes to an hour long. And most of the time these videos are schemes that top, top Madden players use, whether it be myself, whether it be pro players, um, whether it be weekend league experts. Um, these are top, top schemes, right? We're talking about the Carolina bunch. We're talking about the trips tight end. We're talking about the ace slot offset. We're talking about the gun uh, bunch, the gun cluster, the single back trio, all of those kind of formations. We've broken down all of that stuff for you in our uh, text message membership, and we add a video every week to it, either breaking down a new scheme or expanding on uh, a concept. It's really kind of a meta update each week that you get, which is really, really cool. So if you want to get the access to that, just shoot me a text. My number is in the description. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so uh, we are in the West Coast book. I absolutely love this far tight slot formation. This was the first offense I ever learned um, in Madden um, outside of the Peyton. It's kind of a, a toss-up between the Peyton Manning and the West Coast. These are kind of both my my old oldies but goodies, right? So far tight slot, and I actually was running this back in Madden 11, and it's still super, super effective. So, um, and now with Hot Route Master, you can do so many things with this. So, um, I'm actually building this offense as if you had a hot route master quarterback. So if you have Rich Gannon and Mutt, this is the perfect offense for him. Also, if you're playing regs, I'd recommend just running with the Bucks. I think the Bucks might be next to the Packers. You know, both are really, really effective. You don't need hot route master, um, you know, for for everything. But I would just rec I think it really does help this offense. Okay. So first, um, we've talked about curls so far. We've talked about curl drag. And now we're going to throw the ball down the field a little bit, show you some routes that you can really use um, to basically push the ball down the field a little bit more. And that's going to be the flats play. Um, this flats play is loaded. You got a crossing route, you got a post route, um, and then you got two little quick routes to the backs here out of this. You see that this crossing route is not your traditional cross. Um, if you put him on the slot apprentice cross here, um, he's going to go a little bit deeper. So just be aware of that. Um, got the skinny post here, which is really, really nice. Uh, one of the things that's beautiful about having hot wrap master is whenever you motion people over, um, for example, one of my favorite ways to run this is to take, um, is, is to take Mike Evans and to put him on a hitch. So I got a hitch and I got a ghost route to the left, right? Something like that. Something quick. So I have a quick read, take Chris Godwin and put him on a crossing route. Take my tight end, and I will oftentimes put him on a streak. And then my backside fullback is probably going to go on a block and release hook route, something right over the middle of the field. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to motion Godwin to the right, and you'll see that his cross route, because I hot routed him to it, is going to flip. Now, this is probably my favorite setup because of how good of a job that crossing route does against man-to-man -man coverage. So you're going to have a very powerful route against man-to-man. -man. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave the skinny post route to Mike Evans. If you wanted to, you could do that. There's there's definitely nothing wrong with that. I mean, this this little combination right here with the post and then a crossing route that comes back is actually really, really, really good, uh, in my opinion. So you could do that. Um, the next thing you could do is you could run this play as it really is designed. I mean, you could literally just call it straight. Um, the only thing that I would do or that I would suggest that you do is that you take your back on the right side, put him on a wheel route, and then take Gronkowski and put him on a block and release fade route. Um, this is going to help a lot with like cover three. So let's say they're running cover three. 
Watch this wheel route. Watch what this is going to do. If he goes to the right side, he's on a wheel route. You'll see he's going to pull that corner or he's going to be wide open. One of the two things. So either that wheel route is going to pull the corner down or the, um, the wheel route will be wide open. Now, uh, let me show you something like this. Let's say you had use your ghost routes. You take your tight end. He's on a delay fades. He's going to help with pass pro. You're stepping up, stepping up, stepping up. And what you should see here is this crossing route is going to come wide open as well. So if they're not sh if they're not shading their zone or dropping their zones back deep, um, this route is going to be a problem. Now, this offense is really good because Rich, Rich Gannon has like 86 speed. So if you scramble out of the pocket and plays break down, you can release that tight end up the field. And as you can see, he's going to go and get really, really good separation for you. I love the delay fade, especially from this offense, because when you run a delay fade from this offense, you can tag it. Um, you can basically do it with these two quick routes to the back here, these little ghost routes or little flat routes. So you have both of those things, and then you have obviously your motion out, um, your, your motion over stuff. The other thing that's actually really good about this is if you take your, your slot crossing route and actually motion him out, it's going to get him some nice inside separation. It's also going to kind of be good um, in light of what we've been doing from this as far as motioning out, motioning that slot around, having the slot go to different pockets of the defense. So you'll see something like this right here. Right, you get him motioned out. He's got inside leverage. There he goes. He roasts him right off the break there, and he's able to cross all the way across the formation. Now, one of the things that people are going to do to you is they're going to do something like this. They're going to take their corners or their safeties on the outside, and they're going to put them in purple zones in hopes that the purple zones are going to stop the crossing route. The purple zone will stop the crossing route um, for the most part as long as they haven't shaded in the right direction late. It won't stop it early, right? But the other thing is you have this nice little skinny post over the middle that's going to get over the top if they do run a coverage like that for a one-play touchdown. So you have that option as well. Now, if you have a receiver... And let's say that receiver has um, 90 deep route running or higher. Okay. And let's say they're running cover one. So receiver has 90, he has good route running, right? You could do something like this. You smart route Mike Evans, take Gronk, put him on a streak. The back, uh, the left side back is going to go on a Texas pattern. Right side back is going to go on a little ghost route and you're going to motion Mike Evans across. And what you'll see is he's going to come into this little compression set right here. And you really want to snap the ball like right as he gets across. You don't want to wait. You want him, you want him to be moving while you're snapping, right? That's the goal here with the motion snap. So if you put those two things together here, I'm going to um, – you have to snap him right as he gets around it. You, you can't wait to snap this, right? You really got to get it right as he passes the tight end. But right there, I'm going to snap it. And what you'll see is he's going to get over the top of that man coverage especially if he has a route running advantage as Mike Evans does in this situation, or if Mutt, if you're playing Mutt, he has over 90 deep route running. So you have the makings of, I mean, just so many good things that you could do. Um, another thing that I actually really, really, really like to do is out of maybe like X spot, let's say for example, because it has this nice little, little curl route to Mike Evans and I can run ghost routes to the backs off the back side of this. And then I can take my tight end and probably put him on like a crossing route. When I motion Chris Godwin over, it's going to register that he's an outside wide receiver now. So I can put him on a post route and smart route. It. And now you see he's on a skinny post as opposed to that inverted post. And then you see here, he's going right up the skinny, right up the seam to be able to get over the top of the defense. This is going to help you against cover two. Uh, as far as man coverage goes, it's going to help you against cover. I mean, every coverage in the game is going to struggle to stop this. So, like, as soon as you motion Godwin, pull up the hot routes, put him on a post, smart route it, and then snap the ball while he's moving. If you get that all off, you're going to kill uh, man coverage. I don't know why he's not reacting to the ball, but he will be able to He will be able to absolutely torch it. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about from uh, – let's just go through X spot again. But again, the crossing route to the tight end, you've got these underneath little routes to the backs, and then you're just going to put him on a post route and smart route it, snap the ball right about here, or just let him, you can let him get all the way across. But as you can see, he's going to get over the top of the man coverage really, really nicely for you. So there's just a lot of really, like, there's just a lot of things you can do from this, especially when you start to add in the mix Hot Route Master. Um, so, for example, a lot of people are going to run cover three on you. One of the things that you can do 
is you can take Mike Evans, or um, Mike Evans put him on a streak. Godwin's going to go on a little corner route. The back is going to go on a ghost route, right? Something as simple as this right here. This little route combo on the left side should be able to beat uh, cover three. As you'll see here, the seam route up to Mike Evans. And part of that's because I'm on the short side of the field. Um, if I move the ball to the, the other hash, that should change for me. I think I just messed that up again. Let me, let me, let me respout that ball real quick for you. But again, guys, if you have not joined the text message membership, it's completely free to do so. It's in the top left corner. I would highly, highly encourage it. But what you'll see now, let's say, so I'm in cover three, right? Um, what you'll see now, so the backs are going to go on ghost, ghost route, right? Um, at least on the left side. And then I'm going to run a streak flat combo, like streak corner route combo here. And then what I'll do is I'll take my back and I might put him on a Texas route if I want to. I could put him on uh, really anything. Um, what I, what I probably would do is put him on just a block and release hook route. And then I'll take my tight end and either put him on a delay fade or a post route. One of the two. I actually really typically will put him on a delay fade. It's just a check down. But you'll see here, if they're running cover three, this route to Mike Evans is going to kill it. And that's based off of, you don't even have to do a hot route. I mean, you really don't even have to have a hot route. If you call X spot, you'll see here, um, if you call X spot, you don't even have to have Hot Rep Master to do this, right? You could do something as simple as put the back on a curl um, or an option route. I love option routes to the backs. And you'll see here, if they're running if they're running cover three, you see the corner thumbs out, and you're able to hit the streak over the top. So that is the um, a couple of different methods that you can use to go downfield out of the flats play, out of some of the other plays as well. Uh, from this offense. I think this offense is really one of the better offenses in the game now because of the fact that you have Hot Rep Master to be able to uh, basically create a lot of power routes and then the little short routes are still going to be available because of how the formation just fits together too. I mean, it's just the, the quick snap that you can really, really do it. I mean, it, it, it's really, really good. You can put your back on a delay fade out here. You can have a little um, fun with it because when you roll out against man, if they go go to you, then uh, obviously I, I didn't hit the right guy there, but I could have hit my running back. Um, this is a simple, 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 simple strategy that you can use. I mean, you can, and you can actually do it with two. Now you have two tight ends on that side, so you can do a block and release little streak flat combo. Um, you know, but right there, once, once the, one, it causes them to blitz too. So, you know, if they're like, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I motion the back out here and I put him on a delay fade or, uh, I'm going to put the tight end on the delay fade and then the back is going to be on a little block and release flat route, right? Something simple like this. When you start rolling out, if I release that guy, you see, they're going to kind of, if they follow the, I'm getting, I'm giving you a really bad example here, but because a part of it's because of Brady's speed, but basically when they, if they're man to man coverage, and this is why this is so, so good. Um, you don't have to have, you could, you could have the back block it if you wanted to, but basically you roll out, he chases, and then you throw your tight end route. That's what I'm trying to get at. So you can do that, and you can do it on both sides, um, which is which is really, really, really good. So I just love this formation. I love the way that it, it works. You can actually motion. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about is when you mo – with Hot Rep Master, if I motion the back in the backfield and I put him on a post route, then I motion him back to the backfield, you're going to see that he's actually going to stay on this post route, which is kind of cool. Um, you'll see here he's going to cross the formation. And he actually beats man really nicely. Um, it gets these wide gets backs in the backfield unbumpable, uh, which is really, really nice. So just really enjoy this formation. Hopefully you enjoyed the video breakdown. We got more coming today, but this has been the far tight slot. These are a couple things that you can do with it um, in combination with all the things you already know with about running the ball. Uh, hitting the quick underneath is so important. We're going to talk a little bit more about that from a West Coast perspective in our next video tonight. But um, just just going back to this again, you have to have just the ability to hit them in different types types of ways. Um, one simple, simple way that you can do it is just having a flat and a hitch concept right here on this right side. Um, most of the time, the hitch is going to be open right there because I didn't uh, pass lead it inside. They were able to jump it. But you'll see here. Again, just this motion over hitch right there. Click on. That's what you're looking for. Just a little quick five yard route. So um, the quick stuff in combination with the deep stuff, really, really good drop back game 
from the West Coast. We're going to keep kind of hammering through this. Uh, Bill Walsh might jump into some of his concepts as well uh, from this offense. But uh, all in all, really, really enjoyed this offensive playbook and uh, looking to learn a little bit more about it. So I've been getting a lot of requests from it. Um, probably my favorite playbook I've ever ran, but I've never ran it with Hot Route Master. So actually kind of looking forward to that a little bit. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just shoot me a text. My number's in the description. And if you want to sign up for our free uh, weekly schemes, go ahead and shoot me a text message as well.